Well, it's uh, May the 4th be with you edition today. It's Wow Sly, I'm out on the bike with the trailer. Sorry, with the trailer. Oh. Little bit of a view, but having starting to get overgrown, which is good. Bit of natural camouflage. We like it stealthy. Uh, so I think I'm going to set up over there, just for the left of those trees. It's my old favourite spot. So uh, here yeah, we'll come back to you when we get there. Uh, crossed over to the dark side today. Let me get out of the way of the gate. Right, the gate's over there. It's going to be right next to these trees. Uh, going to get the basher up, blocking visual contact from the gate to my persons. And then obviously the trees, Mountbook fields, a small tree line. And then it's like uh, land goes down for miles, then up for the Wilkshire White Horse Hill. Uh, it's nearly killed me. I was uh, throwing up last night, throwing up this morning. Been ill for the past week and a bit. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but I thought I'd better come out today. So yeah. <sighs> Lord, that's my son. Yeah, I've crossed over to the. Uh, to the dark side as it's uh, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Okay, stay with me people. Uh, no amateur radio today. No, I'm doing the uh, PMR bands. It's quarter past 12. I hear there's going to be a few stations on from about half past 12. So, um, yeah, there's the trailer. Telescopic pole for the uh, the die pole to go on there. Track pole in case I need it for the basher. Uh, and then inside I've got the Bergen, which is like the day bag. Ground sheet, it's normally on the top, but I've uh, pulled that out separate. Because I thought it'd be uh, long, covered in bugs. Uh, so I'll get the ground sheet straight out. And then an old laptop bag with my EDC on it. In there I've got the antenna, logbook, coax. Uh, radio um, so some other bits and pieces and that's it I've just got a ground sheet in there it's always handy to have a spare I've only got bungees as a base so it also stops anything small that comes loose from falling through the gap and me losing it touch wood not lost anything yet or had anything fall out of here like, everything's always like this clipped or carabined together. Right, <clears throat> I'm knackered. I'm gonna get set up and we'll see you in a moment or two. Oh yeah, and for your information, it's quite a nice day. Very calm, barely evidence of a slight breeze. I can see a flutterfly. Um, yeah, pretty much zero wind. The sun's not too overpowering. It's quite warm. Sweat like mad. I just thought I'd wear the 511 shirt today, the tactical 511. Uh, I can roll the sleeves up if I want. I've got a clothing bag in there with jumpers, hats, scarves, fleeces, and so on. But I don't think I need it. Might need a jumper a bit later, but we're not out for too long. Right. Uh, today's event is the uh, Sunday afternoon DX net with the Charlie Tango DX forum. Um, PMR CB and amateur radio, but today the DX is uh, PMR and CB, but I'll just be doing the PMR. All right, I've bored you enough now. Let's do this. Okay, all set up. I moved slightly down from my first position just to get a little bit more cover from the uh, gate on the right where I came in from. Um, the bash is up mainly for the sun, it's quite sunny today, uh, sitting directly in it, I'm sure I'll soon start feeling the heat. So we've got a nice breeze coming through, like I have when I spend the weekend up here. 
last year's um, shit it's the fan weekend it was nice to have the breeze coming up uh, so it's basically just a sunshade PMR mast is there with the dipole on top um, tuned to two meters forgive me because I can't see it's so sunny I don't know what I'm videoing three guidelines going down in the form of paracord with pegs in the ground and the feeder to give you a shot of the sun and the antenna um, feeders coming down inside to the radio dual bander so we've got no chaos both displays are set on PMR8 uh, stoves in here with all the tea, coffee, sugar, binoculars uh, first aid kit and all the waters in there so we're going to put a call out and then um, get some sticks because I've got the gasifier today not sure where I'll get the sticks from hopefully there's a wood around here somewhere maybe a small woodland we'll have a look and then we'll get a coffee on the go right so far so good all right this is sort of in the middle where I spent the weekend last year June for the event and uh, just got some sticks that were hanging from the tree there so they're all dry they've been off the ground they've just been hanging and there's dead grass look at that well that's totally dry so we're gonna have a handful of this and a handful of sticks and that's my first coffee in my wood stove it says buying fuel it's only a short walk as well Stoves on, it's light but it hasn't started gasifying yet, it takes a few minutes. If we can uh, if we can see. So while it's lighting we'll use the heat straight away on there. So uh, if you've not seen it before, it's a gas wood gasifier. So it's uh, smokeless. Um, so ideal for stealth. A fantastic windbreak. A uh, little tin can full of holes. Yeah, I missed that completely. The bikes went right over the top of here. Coffee. Yeah, fucking bikes. Yeah, knock it down one, Andy. Seven. Hey, hello. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, they're all going right over the top of you. I was just getting noise from both of you. I couldn't make out either station. Well, the bike saw you. That's not bad. Think of where, where I am. Think of where they are, distance-wise. And if I'm still causing them that much grief, then... Yeah, cool. Antenna's working all right. Yeah, well, it's, they're like three fields away from me. Uh, if I'm on the other side of the trees, I could probably see the road that they're on. Yeah, I know roughly where you are. Yeah, well, that's already been sussed. Right, it's just gone one o'clock. Just been chatting to someone down in Westbury. Uh, hello, Andy. About wildlife and cars and the, the mess the wildlife can make. Uh, coffee's just sitting warm. It's been boiled for about, well, made for about 10 minutes, but uh, if that stays hot for so long with the coals on the bottom, you can just leave your drink on there and get all my things and not worry about it getting cold. Um, yeah, the wind keeps picking up. Zero, eight. Wind keeps picking up, and then it keeps dying down again, but it's, it's warm out here. Even the heat through the bash is getting nice and warm. So at least I'm not out here freezing. And there's a pheasant keeps coming over there, staring at me, wondering what I'm doing. So if he's not careful, I'll be eating him tonight. The old mast, dive hole, uh, on top. Right, 
Right, I'm gonna drink some coffee now. Right, Mark, Jason, everyone else. All I'm getting is um, Bertie Bassett. And the motorbike school. Yeah. Motorbike school are literally in the area and they're blowing my windows out and blocking everyone out. Unless you're a big gun station in the area, you've got, I've got no chance of picking anyone up. And they're going to be out till about six o'clock tonight. I'm struggling to hear you guys up a minute. Pick yourself back to the green towns then, back to the green box. Yeah, just motorbike school. Oh well. Right, sod that, all I'm getting is the my bike school. So I'm going for a walk. Uh, PMR Channel 8 is just blocked with uh, business users who should either be using sub channels and tones or on one of the 16 PMR frequencies. Fucking, excuse my French, bloody hate it. I only had a couple of hours out here today and uh, <coughs> it's absolutely made it totally pointless coming out. So, gonna have a little look for here. I ain't been up here for a few weeks. See how overgrown it is. We've had some wildlife coming through, lots of grass flattened down. It's all up to my waist now. Last time I came it was about six inches. Um, in a few more weeks, it's gonna be six foot. And it's gonna be a struggle to get down here. I'm up here for an overnight in a, in a week or two, a couple of weeks. I can't remember now the date. I think it might be the 18th. Don't know, not next weekend. The weekend after. Um, got something big's been flattening this down. We do get deer up here. Badgers, foxes a lot. So I'm up here in a few weeks for an overnight. Uh, might be up here. I think we're planning with a, another YouTuber. Um, a bit of practicing for the uh, shit the fan weekend. Oh, bugs are just flying into me. This is my normal camping spot. Which is uh, non-existent at the moment. There's the one tree, two tree I normally hang the, ha hang the hammock from. Sometimes I hang from that ridge, a ridge line from that tree to that tree. And I uh, normally got a teepee there. But I need to flatten it down completely. Um, of course, it's uh, totally changed the landscape. The ever entrance. Well, I'm just set up a basher over there somewhere. There's a side entrance down there. God, it's like a completely different forest. I recognise the trees where I've been cutting them like ivy off them and stuff. Let's see if we can get out the side entrance. A few uh, bluebells. Not many. They're overgrown by this weed. A few bumblebee. I've had about five of them fly into my head today. Nice bit of falling wood there. Well, there's the side entrance, but I can't get to it. The track just leads down to... Hmm. These ones are new. There's two standing deadwoods here. And a big branch that's sort of wedged in there. <laughs> Spider webs. I just stupidly go underneath them. So there'll be some firewood soon. See where they've been scratching their antler on it. The deer. Ugh. Fucking bugs. I should have put my hat on. Bugs are flying in my ear. And then the lower part of the woods. Down that way. So I'm not going to go down because I'm getting covered in pollen. 
which means the bub bumblebees are going to be liking me when I go back up top. Um, yeah, I've got no chance of getting to that side entrance today. Obviously, the wildlife doesn't go that way, so I can only follow the footpath that the uh, wildlife give give me use of. So we're going to head down, actually, have a quick little look. Uh, tree over there that was split open by lightning. And then halfway is a tree that came down one night when I left in a storm, and it landed about six inches in front of me as I stopped. So I'm glad I didn't take that extra step forward. Would have been crushed. You can see it's completely overgrown. And it's only halfway at the moment. And this is um, sort of like the mid entrance that goes across the meadow. If you follow the videos, you'll know where I am. I quite often pop out hoof claw marks, paw marks. I've just stupidly stood on them as I saw them. Um, like badger, only the size of like my fingerprint. So, badger or fo fox, I think. Actually. Let's see if we can get through. There you go. And here's the meadow, which overlooks uh, Bradford and Avon. There's the canal. Walked over that way up the canal before. It's nice and sunny out here today, but not over bright. Right, I'm gonna get back to the Basher station. Out at a sharp. Um, there's always paw prints here because it's a bit of a slope. And I obviously scramble up there. And there's no tracks leading to my left to the bottom of the woods. Um, so I'm not going to be going down there without a stick to beat it all out of the way. So yeah, it's really uh, overgrown. It's great for a bit of stealth camp. Low profile setup. Nothing will uh, sort of see you until they're on top of you. Which is good. It's very, very green. And of course the DPM's got a lot of brown in it. Yeah, there's only one pathway through here. Big poor bark there. That must be. That's what that is. It's not a hoof. Um, yeah, because I normally come in that way by the uh, split open tree and then cut up through there to uh, the base camp. But there's no track, can't even walk up that way. So, Billabong, if you're watching this, uh, this is where we're going to be in a couple of weeks. You need a stick to sort of beat your way through. And I'm just going to lay a massive ground sheet down to make a footprint. Because um, that's half of that's nettles. So I'm just going to, you know, really lay planks across wet ground, lay another one, walk on that, lay another one. I'm just going to lay the uh, massive tarp down as I walk. And just flatten the lot down, because that's, uh, that's past my waist. That's, that's the height of my shoulder, that weed there. And they look like the height of my head already. And the whole area is the same. Completely overgrown. And I'm just set up over there. I can't even get, can't even see it. Normally I can walk all over everywhere. Right, that's a little tour of the woodland. Uh, where I do most of my overnights. Love these woods, they're so quiet and you know, masks from anywhere. No traffic, no people. Uh, they have a place over a day camp now and then. Can't even get to that. Let's have a look. It's nice though, no rubbish. A little slug. Enjoying the moisture, it's completely sucked on. Moisture there for rotten tree. Yeah, can't even get across there. I'm just set up the other side of that big tree. I can just about see the bash actually. Uh, only because I know what I'm looking for. It's just flapping in the wind. You can see the orange that stands out because there's no autumn leaves. The green and brown sort of blends in all right over there, if you can see it when I zoom in. Uh, last time I was out, I was here. The PMR antenna set up over there. Oh, up against that tree, actually. Ooh, I can hear the radio. Let me guess, it's the motorbike school. Bugs everywhere. I should have bought my hat. Uh, 
and back out again. Nice and sunny, infested with bugs. And there's the station. Not that it's doing much good today. So if, you, uh, if you're a motorbike instructor in this area, do me a favour and clear off. Right, I can't hear Tom, but we just had a little mini mini net going on. Uh, we've got uh, Charlie Tango. Sorry, sorry, the today, please, guys. Charlie Tango, 11:35. Uh, John over in Devizes, Bertie Bassett over in Wooden Bassett, and uh, Andy down in uh, Westbury. Um, but I think everyone's now on 11 meters. Everyone, on Channel 32, CB. My coffee's done. Still got a few small flames there while it's sort of you know, just keeping warm. As I burnt myself. Ooh, let's look. A bit warm. Turn the radios off and on what I can get between the motorbike school, but they seem to have cleared off now. Uh, guy obviously can't afford his uh, £48 a year licence fee for business radios. And he's inflicting himself on the public. Not to worry. You be working. Thank you very much. What signal have you got? We're so above the background noise. <coughs> yeah, I've got no signal meter, but uh, you give me a radio five, no problem. Thank you very much. Just want to know if I was waiting for as well. Thank you. Right, that's uh, Mike over in Bertie Bassett. He's got a problem, I think, with his handset, so I think it's between two radios trying to sort out the problem. Right, just packing away. Uh, in case you're watching this, Chris, M6 Charlie Sierra Victor, stroke portable, um, on the coast in Dorset. Just had a QSO on uh, two with him. Um, called out, and... Uh, my course side and he says I think I recognise that voice it's uh, Wow Sly I think I worked him uh, a year or two ago on CB I, I can't remember I hate it when I can't remember I feel like, like I'm offensive like by not remembering people but um, you know can't, can't be helped lots of names lots of course signs um, so everything's getting packed away now um, <clears throat> it's nice to talk to whenever M6 He's um, also on the same radio, but he's just past his intermediate, so he's going to be a 2E0 next time I speak to him. But for now, time for me to depeg, pack it all away, leave no trace. Uh, I've only been out about three hours. And uh, yeah, I've got to get squared away. Right. Catch you on the next update when I'm leaving. Right, that's where the station was. Leave no trace. All packed up, ready to go. Packed up for 10 minutes. And then spent five minutes looking for the power cord. I've got a length I put on one end. And then bungeed it on the other end. Kind of secure. Um, on the way here, I only used um, power cord. I didn't use the bungee. And I thought he was a bungee and power cord going home. Only I dropped the power cord. I've just spent the past 10 minutes looking for it. Because it's the same. It looks like that. <laughs> so I've just spent 10 minutes looking for the power cord. And I didn't want to open up the bag and get any more out. Because I'm running out. I keep losing lengths of it. I've got a massive long length that I use for like ridgeline. And a load of single lengths I use for tying things off and tying things down. And I keep losing the little bits. So the trailer's all packed up. Yeah. We're off home. So, wasn't a bad day. It was a good day. Good day to be out. Not so good on radio. Had a few contacts, but I had to get out. I'm sick of being ill. 
past week or so. Um, I don't know, really. Kids had a, uh, what's that throat thing? Uh, I don't know, some throat thing. They've been on antibiotics. Didn't clear up, so they've got their second lot of antibiotics. And uh, well, I seem to have caught some sort of infection off the children, as you do. Well, I'm going to put my phone away, pedal and get home. Um, wanted to be home in about, about now. Wanted to leave it free. It's just gone ten past. Spent too long looking for the power cord. So I will catch you all on the next video. Take care, be safe, and hopefully catch you in the air someday soon. All the best.